So I want to thank you for inviting me here today to talk about Operation Brotherhood and Skilton House Ministries. Skilton House Ministries is just a little ministry, but it gives glory to God every day through the various programs that it has. And the most, uh, I guess the program that most people know us about is Operation Brotherhood. And I just want to thank you for all of your contributions through the years that Philmont has, has given. And last year, I think you really totaled it. It was beautiful. When, when your students walked in and just kept bringing in the wonderful cans and food and groceries, it, it was so exciting. And uh, I know that uh, many, many of the families appreciated it so very much. And this year, again, we have received more requests than ever. Does anybody want to guess how many baskets we're going to fill? Anybody want to guess? Raise your hand. No? Yeah. No, not quite that many. <laughs> It was 2,084, so it's almost 2,100 baskets. And I think it'll be the most we've ever done. Uh, but it is uh, a very exciting thing. And without the help of each and every one of you, we're not able to do it. It's uh, a threefold purpose, Operation Brotherhood. And the one thing and the most important thing is to bring glory to God through sharing his word. And we are most fortunate to be able to give them uh, the word of God through the Philadelphia Bible Society that furnishes a book of the Bible each year to each family. And the churches then follow up with these families and invite them to come to church. And we have some families who have never even come to a church. They don't know who Jesus is and uh, they, they just are floundering out there. So this is the first and most important purpose of Operation Brotherhood, is to tell them about our Lord and Savior. Then the second most important thing is, I guess, is to feed them, because many of these families do not have jobs, uh, they really have very little food, and this way they are able to have a beautiful Thanksgiving and uh, to have a, a time when they can share food with others as well. And then third, the most important thing in Operation Brotherhood, is having all cultures working together. All cultures who are Christian working together. And for any of you who have been to our packing night, you would understand that because we have all ages from little babies to in the 90s uh, and from all cultures working together. And guess how long it took us to do over 2,000 last year? How long to pack all those bags? How many did? How long? No, not a week, an hour and a half. Isn't that amazing? It really was. We were amazed ourselves. We, we really try, of course, to get the packing done in, in a short period of time, but we must have had three or 400 people there, and it, we sang the whole time, and we had stations all set up, and all the bags were packed in about an hour and a half. So uh, it was just, it surprised us too. <laughs> but it, it is a wonderful, wonderful evening to look around and see all Christian nations working together. And uh, so that's our threefold purpose in Operation Brotherhood. No one person can do it alone. It takes many, many Christians working together. And all of this brings glory to God. So I brought some pictures here today uh, that I hope before you leave uh, the assembly, you can sort of circle around and, and look at some of these pictures. There's one picture there that has a room about this size with nothing but bags of food. 
and that is where we uh, gather all of the bags together and then on Saturday morning the churches come and they get their bags that they have ordered and take them to their churches and they pray over them and then on Tuesday before Thanksgiving the truck arrives with all the turkeys and we usually have about 40 or 50 strong people and I won't just say men because we have some strong women too and uh, they take the turkeys off the truck and we have prayer over them for the families that are going to eat them and then they're distributed to the churches and the churches start distributing to the families. So it's a whole operation uh, for the Lord. And also this year, again, uh, on the top of the Pico building, I don't know how many of you ever see that when you're going down the Schuylkill Expressway or when you're in Philadelphia, there's a, a sign around the Pico building and each year they're very lovely and put up Operation Brotherhood, love one another. And I think that is so important to have that over the city of Philadelphia because we have so many who don't know the Lord. And with that love of Jesus going out all over Philadelphia, we're just hoping that it does make a difference. And uh, so this year we will be reaching 2,084 families. So that's well over your 5,000. And uh, I, I just feel as though each year, Dr. Skelton, who was a professor of New Testament for Westminster Theological Seminary, who, who founded Skelton House Ministries, always said, he hoped that we would someday feed 5,000. And now we know that we've done it for many, many years. And I'm sure up in heaven, he's pleased to know that his work is being carried on in reaching out to those who do not know Jesus and planting seeds, planting seeds of, of Christianity throughout Philadelphia. And then somebody else will come along and water those seeds, and then somebody else will bring that person to the Lord, and the Lord will be drawing that person. We start Operation Brotherhood each year with a rally. And this year, <clears throat> we were over in West Philadelphia, in, around 40th Street and Lancaster, and uh, we went up one street and down the other and we were singing hymns and in two of the locations we had sermons and we had one person who lived in the neighborhood who was standing there listening to a sermon came up to one of the pastors who was preaching and said would you tell me about Jesus I want him I need him and he came to the Lord right then and there he started his walk with the Lord, and it was so heartwarming to see this man come and want to start. And he will be, in fact, he, he went to church that following Sunday. I've been following him up, and it's very exciting. And, and of course, the church is following him up. And uh, he started his walk with the Lord, and he's 50-some years old. So it's never too late, is it? And how fortunate you are to be going to a Christian school and knowing who Jesus is and starting your walk with the Lord early so that you can give your all to him, have him guide you in your life so that you will know that Jesus is with you. You never have to be afraid. You never have to be sad or sorry about anything because you know you are loved. You're very, very special. And uh, to wait until you're old before you can find that love is very sad, isn't it? But at least he found it, so that if at any time he would have to go on and pass on to another life, which would be with the Lord, he will go. And others who don't will not be with the Lord. 
So how wonderful it is to be a Christian. And I thank you for helping to glorify God through Operation Brotherhood. It's a very, very exciting time of year. And you'll know that you and your family will be blessed because you shared. And, and the Lord always blesses you when you share and, and glorify him. So thank you so much for inviting me. Are there any questions that you have? That